Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley and where we find ourselves in Rome 2 Total War. I'm playing as Pergamon. My opponent is going to be Macedon. And what I decided to do in this battle, this is my first time playing Rome Total War in a little while. I know it's been a lot of Warhammer content, so I was getting back into things. And i um, happy to see that there is still a pretty healthy multiplayer community. There is about a dozen games being hosted online, a fair amount of them with mods, um, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, what I'm trying to do in this battle was to try and <laughs> do a bit of biomimicry, I guess you could say. Um, and by that, well, biomimicry is usually when you try and copy something from nature. And what I was trying to do copying from nature is, well, my take on it was I'm going to pretend to be another creature. So, for instance, a lot of times in nature you'll see certain creatures pretending to be other creatures either to scare off their opponents or to draw them in and then in turn eat them. You know, you might think an anglerfish with a bioluminescent um, membrane that allows them to kind of bait in smaller fish or other fish that will blow it up like a puffer fish to appear larger. Anyways, the creature I am trying to um, <laughs> mimic in this fight is going to be that of a noob. And so what I'm trying to do in this battle, I don't know, it's just an interesting tactic I figured I'd try and do. What I'm trying to do is move my units in big blobs. This is something you see noobs do a lot. Um, group their units up and move them around in big columns and charge right at the enemy. And so that would, that's what I was going to try and do. Now you may ask, why am I doing this? Well, first off, I'm doing it kind of for shits and giggles. It's just kind of fun. And what I'm trying to do is see if my opponent will play out and react a little bit differently. So what I'm going to try and do is, hey, I'm all blobbed up. That'll maybe make him think that I'm a noob. He'll do certain things. He'll let his guard down. And maybe he'll even charge preemptively at me. And it's also kind of drawing his attention over here, lowering his guard, as I said. And so what I'm also trying to do is getting him to pivot his line. Notice how his line is completely pivoting to face this side of the battlefield. But I've left some units back here in reserve that I'm hoping to spring as an ambush and hit my opponent on the flank. He, of course, has Macedon, and Macedon's key is, well, it wants to present a big phalanx line to you. And so if I can get units around the flank, then that's perfect. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And it seems like my initial uh, gambit here has worked. Act the noob, act like a blob, and push hard on one flank, and that has drawn my opponent out of position. So far, the only real fault he's had is... Um, well, not much. He's just repositioning. He's still keeping a pretty consistent army uh, composition. He's got, he's got skirmishers in the four, so he's doing a pretty good job. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to threaten to charge with my Hippias Lancers against his skirmishers. He does a nice counter reaction with his companion cab threatening on the right. Um, and he's just going to skirt around the edge of the forest and check me out and push me back. And at the same time, get some shots on with his archers. So that's a competent reaction. Charge me, push me back. So I'm going to Again, just continue to pull away. Now my um, idea at this point is to continue to pull back. I just want to suck my opponent in, force him to bunch up, force him. You'll notice here he's kind of caught against the red line. This cav can't really go anywhere. So I want is his cav stuck on the right here. And I want his entire force to collapse in on my guys. Imagine his battle line is here. That's where I spring this trap and I can now fight him here. I've started to anchor my flanks as well, so I'm going to try and hold this position. Slingers in the woods, this will hold this front up pretty quickly. And then while I was doing this seemingly panic retreat, what I'm going to do is all of a sudden charge out from the retreat. And you'll notice his units are mostly um, caught out of position. And so now this sudden charge back out against his lines caught him, uh, catches his forces unprepared. And so I'm able to kind of shy them away. What I'm trying to do is draw his attention, see how he reacts. And then I'm pulling up with my Peltas and the other units to try and target some of his um, more expensive units. One of the things I also note is it seems like every time I charge his uh, Mercenary Rhodian Slingers, they auto-retreat. So my opponent has Skirmishing Mode turned on, which is usually not the sign of a great player. Um, so that's a little bit of a tip-off to me. I did eat a couple volleys from his early Skirmishing troops, but that's fine. And I'm going to try and trade blows with my Slingers and other forces. Try and take out his Rhodian Slingers. I'm going to try and deplete all of, all of his projectiles. I'm going to try and absorb them on uh, some of my cheaper, weaker troops. And allow my forces to get around the flank. Over here, I'm pretty, pushing uh, pretty strongly against this Thessalian Cav and other units with Peltas. Especially the Rayo Spears. Peltas up here with large spears are going to try and tank out a lot of the uh, volleys coming in from his guys. But still pretty punishing fire. 
And now I'm going to pop my ambush on the right flank, seeing that my opponent is distracted. I don't think he even noticed that my units are here. He may or may not have, but he's going to go for the juicy target in the center. This is where I have my throw spears in support. And so now I'm going to get some free volleys. Boom, wiping out a lot of his, his, his Thessalians. And then over here, I'm going to charge into his cav with my Hippeus Lancers, with the close support of some of my own spears. He did try and charge in with a unit in the rear. One unit pushed through and tried to hit my guys. And so now I'm caught in a bit of a, a tough predicament, where I'm getting shot from all sides. And this is where I actually, instead of playing the part of the noob, become a noob myself. And I start to get a bit sloppy with my movements. He catches a couple of my slingers and other units with his uh, Thessalian cav. And I don't have much to show for it. Yeah, I can punish him a bit with my javelins, but it's not really doing too much. Meanwhile, in this engagement, um, I have actually been able to tie up all of his cav. And so this opens up an opportunity for me to charge in with my uh, Hippias Lancers. I'm going to try and target the back. I want to go after his mercenary Cretans, but the problem is he has so many freaking skirmishers that they're all going to turn about and charge me. And this Hippias Lancer was already pretty heavily damaged. So like I said, I'm now turning back and showing that I am, yes, Rusty in Rome too. A better target would have been to slam into the back of these Levy Pikemen, disrupt, and get in and amongst his forces. By chasing these units all the way over here, I'm losing an expensive unit for no reason. And it could have been more properly timed with this force being better placed. But anyways, regardless of that little micro lapse and lapse in judgment, I do have my ambush in place. And so now I'm at the back of his pike line. And I have free reign on his mercenary Rhodian slingers. Uh, I would have liked to have a, had a cavalry unit hidden, but the forest didn't allow me to do that early on. But now I get some nice easy shots. I'm going to force his units to scramble around to try and get a better position. I do have one more cavalry force that's going to swing around to this flank. And now I have his, if we look at the top down view, the entire Macedonian force is pretty much surrounded, which is kind of what I was going for. Like you saw, I was a bit sloppy in my losses early on but i've gotten the macedonians into a position that i want i've got his units charged by my glacian swords and i have supporting fire and on this flank i'm winning out on the cavalry engagement i'm gonna try and throw in my thoreo spears and other units to try and bolster this engagement and my opponent doesn't really have the line of sight to reinforce with his missiles i'm tied up the, with the enemy gen he has a lot of kills to him 40 men left and I have 30, so I'm going to lose this. So I'm going to have to pull in some reinforcements real quickly. Over here, I'm going to be forced to brace because there's a cavalry charge uh, potentially coming in. My opponent draws away. And I'm just going to be able to charge into his retreating cav, clip them, and pick up a nice couple of easy kills. Meanwhile, I have my screening Hippias Lancers also in the back. Kind of scaring off my opponent. And I'm going to look for a, a, a perhaps a better target against some of his light troops. He has a ton of Agrianian Axemen, which is an interesting build. And all of this is going to be doing a lot to damage my units that get up close. But luckily, they've started to run out of ammo. He's going to start to form up in a defensive perimeter. And now that I have the full surround, I'm going to try and pick my targets, hit the rear of the pikes instead of the front. I've got a lot of focus fire here as well on the flank. Always when you're fighting against a um, fortified position like this, go ahead and take the time to position yourself around the flank and hit these guys on their unshielded, vulnerable flank, and you'll get a lot more kills, a lot more bang for your buck. That seems to be going well. Cavalry fight is slowly starting to tip in my advantage. My opponent is trying to even the odds by throwing in some javelins, but it's really doing more damage to his own men than it is to mine. These companions, yeah, down to 25 men. Lots of experienced chevrons, but I should be able to kill them. And now I'm going to throw in more Thoreau spears, and this is going to clean up the enemy forces. And I'm scared somewhat. Two full Agriadian Axemen units. These guys can shred my calves. So I pull out. Just as they're about to get into combat. And they do get a couple parting volleys. Yep, clips a couple of my guys. But I'm still pretty good health. And the general is seen away. All of a sudden, this dam breaks. And my units are free. And his Agriadians actually find themselves in a really bad position. So I'm going to be able to charge in at them. I have cavalry free. And now this whole... Um, defensive perimeter that he created. Ew, yikes, it's kind of falling apart. And my opponent at this point concedes, knowing that I have complete superiority around the entire flank. He probably could have held strong, um, trying to fight it out, but I mean, these are really thin levee pikes. I had a lot of uh, 
potential javs left, a lot of pretty healthy units. And with his skirmishers caught out, that was basically it for his forces. His general is dead. These troops probably would have routed rather quickly. So I guess technically you could say my uh, biomimicry technique did kind of work. My attempt to uh, play the part of a noob kind of worked, but it would have worked a lot better had I not been actually caught up playing as an actual noob uh, with a lot of little sloppy plays. But still, it kind of goes to show a viable tactic can often be to try and play the part of something else. Um, and yeah, you could see the potential that it, it could have in this battle, uh, as well as the potential of, you know, trying to move your opponent, get him to face another way and you know open up a chance for you to strike at the back i had done a, a tutorial on this way back in the day called the shifted battle line tactic which is where you hide units and then you slowly force your opponent to turn your flank to the hidden force and then you attack uh so very hannibal-esque anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'm going to end the replay we can take a look at the final stats here we brought pretty much the same number of units i took way more losses than my opponent but in the end he conceded so yeah it's a close victory but I had, you know, a bunch of Galatians still at pretty good health. Thoreos Spears still at really good health. And they, they traded pretty cost-effectively. Most of my opponent's kills here with the Agrianians and his Rodian Slingers were actually done fighting Slingers, which are really cheap from my end. And so, yeah, his cavalry charged in. And Slingers make nice, tempting targets. And all he did was he traded out high-tier units for low-tier units. And I was able to kill the opponent and win through uh, a bit of attrition. Yeah. Epeus Lancers didn't do too well. I should have spread my forces out, had Spearmen reinforcements nearby. But, I mean, they traded cost-effectively against, I guess, the Salian Cavalry and ended up coming out on top, thankfully. That's it for this battle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.